Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. It's Angela, the Traveling Crafter, and I really hope that my phone is charged. I did not check. First of all, if you're watching this on the day that it airs, happy Thanksgiving. If you're not, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving if you are in the U.S. of A. and celebrating. If not, happy Thursday. So what are we going to do today? Well, I needed to do a whole lot of mindless crafting. So I'm bringing you along with me. I have no agenda. I have no plan other than I have a deficit of tags and I need to make some. But before I do that, a quick shout out to all of you. Uh, in honor of Thanksgiving, I besides my uh, awesome family, my husband, my kids, my siblings, my parents, and everybody uh that uh, put up with me, my friends, <laughs> I am very grateful and I am very grateful for every one of you who are also my friends here, whether you're new, just um, hopping on, or if you've been around for a while. I appreciate each and every one of you very, very much. I'm turning this around because I should have done this before I went on the air. However, I didn't. And I warped this the other day. Do not iron on this mat, which it's for crap. It's for, it says right here, <laughs> don't iron. <laughs> okay, well, I was thinking to myself, self, it's for quilters. I'm sure you can probably iron on it. And I did. Bad idea. So now I got to get a new one. Oh, what are we going to do? We're going to work through it. And I don't have to measure anything today, so I don't really need this, but I need something down. So what all we're going to do, it's going to be as basic as making some tags. And uh, I didn't want to do Christmas. Uh, I am in a deficit with uh, ephemera for Christmas too, but I wasn't in the mood for Christmas. I was in the mood for something else. So before we get started, I wanted to show you, I have one that I have not done, so I can show you what it was. Uh, soon you'll be seeing a uh, thrift haul. You know my thrift hauls are really random. They're all over. I they're scheduled way far out because I have a lot of them. But in one of my hauls, I got three of the Joan Wash Anglin books. One of them happens to be Christmas, and this one is called Christmas is a Time of Giving. And uh, I also picked up two that were Love is a Special Way of Feeling. Very same book. Well, one of them had writing all over the inside or on a lot of pages. And so I decided this morning, very, very early, that I was going to turn them into journals, which I will show you in a second. Uh, but for the beginners out there, this is what I want you guys to consider. Just an easy, easy project just to ease you into, okay, I can do this. This isn't too hard. Um, I took this book apart and luckily it had its natural signatures in it, meaning that it folds out and folds in half. And that is all of these together make a signature. And I was able to keep most of them together. But like I said, some of them were written in and such. So between the two, I was able to make a not, there were nine original pages in each book. I then made uh, nine, a uh, one signature, nine pages um, for each of these journals, but I have all of these left over. So these are ready. I will put them, I have pre-made signatures or book pages that are ready for signatures that I have in, a, in my closet ready to go. So I'll put those there. But I also was able to do a little um, journal card out of one of the pieces. Um, oh, there's... This one is a Christmas one. I made a little Christmas card. That better go over here because I'll forget. Uh, another little. And by the way, thank you again, Sarah, because for the first time I got to use my one and a half inch punch and my two inch punch would not work to do it. And that worked perfectly. So I'm a happy girl. Um, so just that little journal card and a few more just out of whatever I had left. So, lots of things you can do. These are naked journals. They will already have been in, uh, they will already 
B in the Maker's Market. And the link to the Maker's Market is in the description below. Very simple, but I think, you know, super, super cute. A nice size that you can just pop in your pocket. There's nothing inside. I just needed to do something that was just, I didn't have to think. I just could craft. So it's a uh, seven or no, seven. Let's try that again. Six and three quarters by uh, four and five eighths. And you can see that they are in different conditions. This one's very faded. This one is not. Um, and these were, I don't know where I got these. Maybe Timu. But there's no way, they don't go around the corner. They just go onto the corner. So I just picked the copper and then the brush nickel. Brush bronze, I guess that is. Uh, and then I just created this. I put, this is also from Sarah. And just created these little mini journals. Really easy. No, nothing difficult. And they're ready to roll. But I wanted something that people could have, you know, if you want. I did put these little charmy, dangly, beady things on it. But they're pretty much the same. Uh, but it's your inspiration. If you have yet to try something, you know, start small. Start with something easy. You don't have to use all of the pages. Um, that's what they look like at the top. And, or just use the pages to create some things out of it. And that's what you get. It's pretty fun. So that was my art therapy session this morning. I don't know why I felt I needed art therapy session to this morning, but I did. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on making tags because I want to show you what I did. And I thought, well, maybe I need to hop on here and let them hold me accountable. So, yes, you will see that there are a few tags that I have just, I mean, all I did was cover my file folders. I have tons of them. But that's not where I started. So there, those are all tags. I started doing these. And I'm like, well, Angela, that is not a tag. Although those could be tags and then also a pocket. But I was like, girl, these could be tags too. So we're going to make tags. And we're just going to visit. That's all there is to it. And then maybe we'll decorate some of these said tags but we I need to get some a few things down so in addition to all of this paper that I pulled these are just some of my digitals whether they are already on um Kofi I, I still have a lot on Etsy I haven't moved over to Kofi yet I will um but um or they were test test papers and I wanted them to be really thin I pulled out all a bunch of, I, this is what I do when I am upstairs is I just cut file folders. So I pulled out everything that I could possibly find in that, that stack that were tag worthy. I also have, we're going to test out, this is I-B-I-E-E-B-E-E. -E -E -E. There's a link in, if you go to my Amazon store, <clears throat> there is a link, um, that I think it's like, I think this is like $8 and 30 some cents uh, that she sent me the code. But we're going to try these out. Uh, I, if you watch the Maker's Market Celebration, one of the giveaways was a set, the Celestial set that I, uh, I think Miss Susie won. So we're going to play with those a little bit and see if we can adorn them at all. And then one of my projects that I'm working on is, if I were a betting woman, which I'm not, but if I were, someone, here, I know, I bet, painstakingly fussy cut all of these. These are old, they're vintage greeting cards. I have a huge Ziploc, Ziploc bag full of them. I was going to see if they, there's any words on any of these, but I don't see any. So somebody went to all of this work for these antique and vintage greeting cards. And I have this whole bag. So I thought, oh, well, I'll make some digitals. I'll do a freebie and then I'll do some um, that I can put up, you know, some additional ones. So I started playing around with them. I got this one done. I thought that all of these were too small. So I went back to the drawing board, but I did print it out. So I got that. Uh, I did print that one. This one is 
probably not going to work because it's on cardstock. So I'll just set it aside. But I have a few of these already cut out over here. And so I thought we might use some of those, some of the originals, and then see what we can do with these. I mean, you might as well use them, right? And I think I'm going to be adding some of the originals into the Maker's Market, too, because there's a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, a little less, a little less chatting, a little more doing. Let's start with these, because I really like these, <laughs> if I don't say so myself. Jeez, Ange. All right, so let's move you all away. Oh, and the other thing that I did grab was... Um, I have these that I got at, from Timu. I really, really like these a lot. Now, they're not huge for tags, but I think that they will work. All right, so all I've been doing is finding pieces that I can, because I need some big tags, so that would work there. Let's see, I can use a bigger one that I can cut off to. And it's a little too big. All we're going to do is well, stick it down. That'll be fine. Okay, but the other thing on that mistake I've been making is I've been putting these and I don't even have the blue page, so we're just, we're winging it. We are totally winging it. I'm not cutting them down in advance. It takes too much time. But the other thing I was doing was I was not looking at my piece before I was slapping her down. And so some of them, the backs have like the ridge where the, you know, where it was, the seam was or where it was folded. So there's that, but you know what, we can deal with it. And I had to suck it up today. And I went on Amazon and ordered. It was time to refill on glue. So I needed art glitter glue. I needed Fabri-Tac and I needed glue sticks. And so I like Scotch Create for me. I mean, everybody has their own preference. So I did, I did order that. Uh, and then I just put it, I put in my cart the um, Fabri-Tac and the art glitter glue. I haven't pulled the trigger because $80 worth of glue is a lot of, a lot of glue, a lot of money. I'm like, oh, but you know, if you think about it, what I would suggest is if you want, I, I did find, um, I think one was an eight pack of Fabri-Tac and the other one was two eight ounce bottles of the art glitter glue instead of one 16 ounce because sometimes they get a little bit they get a little icky I I found so I thought man, maybe it would be better if I got two what I'm doing and I know yes there is space around here but I did I didn't feel like cutting off that white around there so okay this one's fine uh, but check them out. It, like if you go to, um, it says the traveling crafter favorite things or, uh, essentials, I think. And you can see the ones that I got. Maybe today they will have a special lightning deal or something. That was the other reason I kind of didn't, you know, I'm filming this in advance. So <laughs> I was like, well, maybe on Thursday or Friday, it, I will actually get a, a bargain. So I guess we're all going to find out together. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I usually, I've never experienced this and I live in Iowa, so I don't know how much truth there is to it, but apparently some, um, Vendors on Amazon will not ship glue. That kind of glue. I don't know. 
if it's under a certain temperature. But like I said, I haven't I haven't had any problem and it's it's colder than cold here. Okay, so those will be fine. Those will be fine. We might as well make them into peg shapes so that I don't use them for something else. Now, here's the thing. Am I making tags just to make tags? Yes, I am. <laughs> Do I have a journal that any of these are that I'm making right now are intended for? No, I do not. Uh, so, my bag of tags is pathetic. It's like, look, I bought these huge bags. That's all I got compared to all of the other bags that are stuffed full. And I'm like, well, you need to be filled up. So, and I needed a break. I would think I was just feeling like I was burning the candle at both ends a little bit. So I just needed a, don't think about it. Have some fun. And craft and chat with your friends. Oh, I know what I got to tell you. I got a good movie recommendation. Well, first of all, I will just say this again. If you have not caught a video where I've talked about my new favorite deal, my new favorite series. Now, it is on Apple TV, and it is called The Lessons in Chemistry. Oh, that is crooked as all. Get out. Okay. Let me, I got it. I have to do this off camera because I can't. I need to hold it up to my face. Um, it is so, so good. I mean, if we're, if you want, you know, like women empowerment and overcoming adversity and everything in, okay, I got to use my, <laughs> I got to use my trimmer. Uh, and you love historical fiction, then this was for you. It was based in the, uh, well, it's kind of based, there's, there's some, uh, flashbacks to the 30s, um, but based pretty much the 50s. Uh, it is fabulous. And we're going to have to start a petition because, um, let's see, yesterday, the it said, and I'm like, are they lying? They can't do this to us. So it's like a short series, was their, their finale. And I'm like, they better come back again for another season. That's They've got to. So all I'm hoping for is a cliffhanger and not a de definitive end because it was so good. Um, but that's not the movie I was going to tell you about. So we, uh, well, I've told you about the movie Peanut Butter Falcon, which is super, super good. Uh, and apparently, I think... I don't know if it was the director, the producer. I don't know if I believe he, he or she um, also was involved in this movie. The original was from a movie and a book that was uh, from originally done in Mexico. And it the, it is called The... Um, it's just called Champion. That's just it. Woody Harrelson is in it, and Cheech Marin, which, you know, what a funny combination, especially in this, this movie. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to give it away too much, but here's what I'll tell you. Woody Harrelson is a, well, like, kind of like a farm team NBA basketball coach and he's got kind of got a hot temper and <clears throat> long story short without telling you all of it he ends up uh having to do some community service and in doing so uh Cheech Marin is in charge of this um this group you know, not for profit that Woody's going to help with. And 
I'll leave the rest for you, but it is so good. I only cried once, so see, <clears throat> if you need, need to, you know, figure out your cry factor, <clears throat> not to worry, not to worry. There's not that much crying. <laughs> it's very, a feel good, really cool movie. And Woody Harrelson and Cheech Marin and the woman who I don't know who she is that was um, also kind of a main character. And then there, obviously there's kids involved there and all of the, well, they're not really <clears throat> young kids, but the rest of the basketball players, um, did a remarkable job as well. I mean, really, really well, really, really good. You just kind of, you just kind of fall in love with all the characters. So you got to watch it. Yes. Now the one, I want to know if anybody, any of you have watched this is, um, I think it's also on Apple TV. It is called, all right, I'm going to do these three and then we should probably talk about using some of this washi tape. Um, Oh, Buccaneers. And it's it's very interesting because it is based, it's supposed to be, uh, would that be the Victorian era or the Edwardian? And, um, I'm trying to think because I just started watching it, but I really liked it. And Dave's like, I can only handle so much of this. <laughs> so I... I said, okay, well, we can find something else. Oh, look at that big mess I made because I don't have a glue book. Or, yeah. To be quite honest, I don't use glue books a lot. I'm just like, you know. If I'm using a glue stick, what's the point? As long as I don't get it on my mat. Um, but I really liked it. And I think it was... It must be Edwardian, because it seems a little bit more modern. I'm trying to think if there were cars in there. No, so it couldn't have been. I mean, it, I don't know, now that I'm thinking about it. Like I said, I only got to watch one episode, but I liked what I saw. And it, yeah, so it's supposed to be based like in that era, but it shows like in 4D kind of, you know, I yeah. So, and it, they play some like more modern music. So it's kind of like a hi historical fiction with a little more modernized feel to it. I'm trying to think there was another show that was kind of like that too. And I don't remember what it was, but anyway, if you've watched... I only got to watch like a little bit of it. So if you're watching that, let me know if you like it. Okay, we're not going to do that one right now. Um, before I get carried away, because then, you know, what? a lot of times, like with a book, do you ever get like that with a book? Like you start reading it, you're like, you know what, I'm really not into this much. But then you, you, you think, well, I started it, so I better finish it. Maybe it'll get better. <laughs> I don't do that quite as much with movies, but so yeah, Dave can pick it. He can pick a good movie. I will have to say. Okay, let's see. And what else? I feel like. It feels weird that Thanksgiving is, it feels er, really early. Because I feel like it's usually around the 27th, you know? And it's not this year. Maybe it's always, in, well, it's always the... Same Thursday, so I guess it isn't. I don't know why I feel like it should be later in the month, but... I don't know. That didn't make much sense, so I'll strike that comment. But 
Yeah, because I even forgot there's one more one more week before December. Not that I'm wishing my days away, that's for sure, but so we have um a sale a live sale next Thursday. And see, I don't want to use that one there because well, I guess I could. Might as well do it. Uh, and then we won't have one the next week. Since we're not having one today either, obviously. Because it's Thanksgiving. But um, And most of you probably aren't even going to be watching this today. Because you're going to be with your families. So there's that. Mom is doing Thanksgiving. All I have to do is make, what do I have to make? Seven layer salad and there we go. All right, we'll decide what we're going to do with those in a minute. We need to decorate something. Uh, seven layer salad and deviled eggs. I'm like, well, that's easy enough. These are pretty busy as they are, so maybe we'll wait on those. We got that one. That one's already got something. This was just a piece of parchment that I found when I was cleaning. These, oh. I think I have some of those flowers. Uh, this, I'm going to leave for right now. And then we'll put these up here. Okay. I feel like, didn't you see, what are these called? M <laughs> All I can think right now is sea anemone. Anim animals. I don't know how you say it. That's probably not even the right thing, but. I don't know my flowers very well. What happened to all of those pretties? Well, for the love of heat, they couldn't have gone. Oh, they're there. All right, let's see. In this little stack. See, aren't these the same thing? Oh, no, they're not. And that just kind of blends in, doesn't it? Well, shoot. That's too big. It's too bad because that looks cool on there. All right, well, so much for that one. This is one I cut out, but it's very white. So I'm hoping someone who went to all the trouble of fussy cutting. And some of these really need to be put down because on the page because... They're very fragile. Very fragile. Mm -hmm. All right, I like that. We're going to go with that somehow. It's going to be interesting to see. A lot of these are just not going to work because it's... See that right there, isn't that... How's this thing supposed to go? That. I don't know. I feel like we can make this work somehow. With some paper behind it, maybe. What else? What else? No, no, no. Well, I guess most more of these are not going to go than I thought. But. Come on. Okay. We can mix in some of these. Now, we need something here. Do I have any? Oh, I have music. Let's see if we can make that work. Girl. I'm trying to ignore the D-O-G. I don't think 
she's having it. This is going to be awfully hard to get these on here, but we're going to do it. Somehow. Sorry, Chica. My mama's busy. I left her B-O-N-E on the deck when she came in, and I'm sure she's not very happy with that. We're just, we're winging it. Like I said, we're not, we're not overthinking it. If it doesn't look perfect, we're not worrying about it. We are just crafting for mental mindset, for mental relaxation. That is what we're doing. Okay, now, well, this is going to be interesting. That very dainty. Can you imagine? See, I, you know, some of you out there are like, oh, yeah, I fussy cut exactly like that. That's what mine look like got skills and patience. I mean, look how thin that is. It's crazy. Whoa, whoa. Come back here. All right. Ooh. You know, the truth of this is, this may be just easier. I know this is really, I remember this purple stuff. It dries. Clear. But there's just, then I can come back and get the spots I didn't. Because, I mean, come on, I, I'm going to make a hot mess of it if I use that hard glitter glue. Holy moly. Don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, once it dries, it'll be interesting to see what it looks like. Now, hopefully this isn't one of those that stays sticky. I don't think it is. No, we should be good. There's always a wet workaround, a way around it. All right, we still haven't used the washi so let's see if we can find one that will kind of go with it i did try i think one i tried a little piece right there and it's not very sticky um but you know most of them a lot of them aren't so using another glue to kind of reinforce it is good there's an, also not a ton on these rolls. So I think there were 42 rolls, but it's very pretty. Put it up there so you guys can see it. I'm really excited about the poppies. And I like this to be kind of like willy nilly. Kind of in a willy nilly kind of mood today. So tell me this. How many of you guys are Black Friday shoppers? Like, we were talking about Black Friday. Do you, do you go? Now, see, now they don't do it like they used to. I never, ever was a Black Friday shopper. And then when I, um, 
when I met the kid's dad, we would go to South Dakota for Thanksgiving. Well, the town that they lived in, there wasn't a lot going on. So I was like, okay, well, I can handle <laughs> those crowds. But I, I'm just not into people trampling over people and all that kind of stuff. So I we would do it every year. That is cute. It probably needs a sentiment, but we're not going to put those on until we get to a point where I know what I'm going to use this for. So then when I, we were up there, we would do it every year. And I don't know if I've ever really done it in Des Moines. So then when... So then my sister started taking my niece and, and Demi each year, kind of as a tradition. And it's just the three of them. <laughs> All the rest of us are like, have at it. But they have a good time. But now it's like, like Walmart, for example. Their Black Friday starts like at Thursday afternoon. So I don't know. And I don't, you know, I used to like to get, get the ads and read through them. I don't even know if they do that anymore. Now I'm just like, forget it. Um, I did send something that I wanted from, for Christmas from, da from Dave and the kids. Uh, not because I said to buy it, but because I said, be on the lookout if you see something like this, because... Maybe they'll have a Black Friday deal, but it's really expensive and I don't want. I don't want it if it's that expensive. <laughs> and then Dave, Dave really wants a Ninja Outdoor Grilly thingy majiggy. Now, we've bought Rhea, Sam, and Landon all ninjas best thing for college kids um Rhea couldn't take hers to school but Landon Landon did and of course Sam has an apartment so that was not a big deal but um they're great and <clears throat> now they have a grill and Dave Dave wants one. <laughs> so we shall see they're also, I don't know, they're also pretty spendy, I think. I haven't looked, but this is a new thing. You know, each each week, he has too much time away from me that, spe that he spends perusing the interweb for non-important things that he thinks he needs in his life. All right, this one, I don't think, well, oh, we got some tulips. You know what we can do? We can put them on the back. Let's do that. Well, I've got some more tags. I just got to remember to make that. Oh, I know something else that, that I need to tell you. Template Tuesday is coming back probably next Tuesday, I'm guessing. Uh, and I'll tell you why. So... Our friend, Hazel Anaka, I sent her some packages, or some packages, I sent her a package, and um, she had said, hey, I would like some, you know, some more complicated, uh, some of your template templates, <laughs> God, I can't talk, and I started to panic because um, Carol had said, you know, it, it, it might not get there you know, in time. And I saw, I was like, Oh, I better hurry up. So I got it sent off, but I, I had something had to give. And the template templates were one of those things. So I thought, well, I've been missing template Tuesday and why not bring it on back and maybe do a couple of the other ones that we've done and, you know, see how that goes. So that's what I'm planning to do. So, in that template Tuesday, maybe we need to make some fun. Um, yeah, I'm just not feeling real <laughs> creative at the moment. Uh, make some fun tags, different tags. Um, 
I have a couple that I really like to make. I mean, not that they're difficult templates, but some kind of fun ones. I did, just did some tags where there was a pocket and oh, they were easy. They were just a fold over and, and pocket a while ago. And I really like that. Let's do like a tab and then some washi. And then we'll say goodbye. I know, you know, if you guys are still here, thank you. Uh, like I said, I just, I, mean, I think I'm going to be doing a couple videos like that. Like, and here's why. Because I do have some projects that I want to do. And I want to give them, you know, do them justice. And sometimes I just need to um, kind of reset and do something that's not, oh yeah. It's not a do or die, you know, which I know I'm the one that puts the, <laughs> those parameters on, like, I've got to get this done. Um, very simple. I, I'm not going to use the washi on that. I did not say, oh, I need to have this done because I need to have it, you know, uploaded by this date and this time and psh. Now, if you're seeing this and I'm saying this, that means that my phone didn't die. So that's a good thing, but I didn't check it before we, <clears throat> before we started. But you have helped me get some things done as we visited, and I appreciate that. So I hope maybe you guys just crafted along with me and worked on whatever you're working on, which I'd love it if you told me what that is, and... I will say goodbye, um, and, oh, 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 before I go, the Deck the Halls, uh, that I will be making it, see what I'm talking about, responsibilities, I will be making an announcement on probably, uh, Friday the 1st of December, there we go, um, on what that little, um, it's just open collaboration, it's nothing, there's no challenge. There's no competition. It's just going to be fun. We're using playing cards and we're going to deck the halls and we're going to just do some fun things. Um, whether you want to do Christmas or not, you don't have to, you know, but if you want to participate, do me a favor and hop on over to the Maker's Market, to the community, and there's a hashtag community tab and just um, make a comment in there that... Yay, yeah, I want to participate. And um, between now and the first, I've mentioned it a couple other times, but um, I'll be putting all of the details together. There we go. So we've got a good start. I need more of these, uh, but we'll work on those later. Uh, and then that way I can get all of the information out there to you there too and you can see all of the updates so until next time friends thank you for hanging out with me i appreciate you very much and we'll talk to you soon cheers